There comes a time in every gun owner's life that they decide they need a rifle built off of a custom action. It's not so much that the existing factory sold rifles are not enough, but rather you'd want more. Either more features, more precision, or simply that super smooth action which puts a smile on your face every time you run the bolt. And don't get me wrong, Bergara, CZ, Christensen, Tika, and most recently Springfield Armory have certainly released firearms with a smooth feeling action. But there's more. On the other side of the scale, you have high-end and custom gun builders who put together rifles with their own actions. Accuracy International, Gunworks, GA Precision, and others. And these rifles will typically start at $3,000 and go up from there. This then presents an opportunity for custom actions makers and the self or gunsmith assisted markets. Curtis, Bighorn, Impact, Kelby, Defiance, Ultimatum, American Rifle Company, and many others have made a name for themselves making high quality actions with precision, fit, and finish, and features typically not found on mass produced rifles. The most recent company to enter the market, and one with which I fell in love with at SHOT Show 2020, is Pristine Actions. We did a video at SHOT Show, which you can find linked above, and now we have an action here to use. And before we complete the build, I wanted to do this video to take a closer look at the action and discuss the reasons why you would want to consider a custom action for your next precision rifle project. So let's roll. When you're a gun manufacturer, you have a lot of things to worry about. You need to design a product with features that would attract knowledgeable customers, yet is cheap enough to produce to stay competitive and still generate enough income once the dealers and distributors bring it to market. At the same time, the product has to be engineered in a manner that is reliable enough for the lowest common denominator, in this case being first time or less experienced gun owners. This reality most often leads to products that are built for simplicity and reliability rather than absolute precision. And if your goal is to be a large firearms manufacturer, this is precisely what you have. There are of course a few exceptions such as the Custom Shop Ruger Precisions and the Savage Elite Precisions. However, those few thousand rifles that they sell are supported by the hundreds of thousands if not millions of $400 Ruger Americans and $350 Savage Axis that you find in your big box stores. A company focused on producing one product, however, can focus their entire attention on that goal. This is what Pristine Actions was founded on and focused on and what I feel is reflected in the product. Let's start with the big picture and then drive down into the unique features. So, Pristine Actions, like the majority of custom actions today, would be considered a Remit style action. It does come packaged in this super duper nice box. So, let's start with here. You do get that. <laughs> So what we mean by Remix style action is that it is meant to be a replacement for a Remington 700 by having the same external footprint and then stuffing inside with its unique features. What this means is that you can use this action with your Remington 700 triggers and most aftermarket stocks and chassis. This is important because once you go down this rabbit hole, it's not uncommon for gun owners to swap out the chassis and triggers and other components based on the shooting disciplines they plan on shooting, the availability of ammunition, or various gun game rules. This also means that Pristine is not forcing gun owners into spending more money than they have to had they gone with a custom footprint and required you to get a custom stock or chassis made for it. So the action is machined from one solid piece of pre-hardened 416 stainless steel and what results in the cylindrical shape of the receiver. 
The vast majority of critical firearms parts today, such as barrels and actions, are manufactured in what's called a substrative manufacturing process, meaning you start out with a solid block or rod of metal, wood or plastic, or whatever, and then using CNC machines, you cut it down into the parts that you need. By starting out with a rod, you remove less material to arrive at the final shape, thereby able to reduce cost versus actions that start out as bigger blocks. The additional benefit of cylindrical shapes is that they are able to better manage stress, thereby actually by spreading it more equally throughout. As a result of this, the recoil lug and the scope base are not built into the receiver. So what is unique about the receiver that you don't find on a basic 700? So starting at the back, Pristine designed the action to have a thicker tang and thicker rear action screw threads. This will help avoid action bending and increase overall strength. On the rear, you also have a beefier bolt release and bolt stop, which will make it easier to remove and replace the bolt, as well as remain stronger for when you're shooting slightly hotter loads. On the bottom, you have two pins here that will hold your choice of Remington 700 style triggers. So there is no fancy trigger hanger system here, which you find in some other actions. However, this also means that you'll be able to have better chassis compatibility as not every stock and chassis will have the clearances built in for the hanger systems. Moving on, the pristine actions, despite being a Remington footprint, are fretted for Savage small shank prefits, which are 1.055 by 20 TPI versus 16 on the Remingtons. Quite a few barrel companies make prefits and any competent gunsmith should be able to spin one up for you. Now if we peek inside, we definitely see something quite unique. These actions are six lug design. On the bolt, we have two rows of three lugs each. We still have 90 degree bolt throw, however now the forces are spread onto six lugs rather than the two that we find in the Remingtons and many others. As per Pristine, this will give you unmatched security and strength. So looking at the bolt, we also find that the bolt body is not a one piece design and we have a floating bolt. The beauty of the action is that if you want to switch calibers and go from, let's say, a 6GT match gun to a 223 trainer, you just need to swap the bolt head and, there is, and the barrel, and there is no need to replace the entire action. Today, we have two styles of bolts, a standard 308 bolt face used for the majority of gun games and hunting cartridges, and 223 bolt face for your varmint and training rounds. On the bolt, we find another thing that you generally will not get on a factory rifle, and that is dual ejectors. Dual ejectors will help provide more consistent and powerful ejection, and in turn, the reliability that you need out in the field and demand while you're out at a match. We also have a Sacco style extractor here, which is bigger than your standard extractor, which means it's far less likely to fail on extraction. You know, now, is it Seiko or Sacco? I'm a stickler for correct pronunciation, hence why the Lapua, the Loophole, the Hornady, and Saiga, not Sega. And I don't know if it's Sacco or Seiko, and I've heard it pronounced both ways. <laughs> Moving on, on the back of the bolt, we do have a shroud, and the bolt handle comes with a pretty nice bolt knob. Most importantly, the bolt handle is spread at 5 16 by 24, and is ready to accept your choice of bolt knob. Putting it all together is where the magic happens and the big reason you're going with a custom action. With its coatings and tight tolerances, we have a very smooth cycling action. What you can see from the outside and a reason to pick up this unique action is the unique roller cocking piece. It creates a smooth light bolt lift, about four pounds, and a super smooth, fulfilling bolt close and lock. If you ever shot a trigger tech trigger, imagine that, but for closing the bolt. As awesome as this action is, my one pet peeve, and the one thing we have not discussed so far is going to be the scope base. On top, you have a 20 MOA Picatinny rail made from one piece.
The rail is functional and machined very well, but this is my only pet peeve with this action. You only have a 20 MOA rail and it's specifically designed for this action. Despite fitting a Remington 700 footprint, this action does not take a Remington 700 style scope base, which I would venture most other actions would. Would it be awesome to have the ability to put on a 700 style scope base? Yes, but only because 20 MOA is so 1980s. The majority of scopes today that would be used with a custom action such as this have at least 60, 80, 100 or more MOA worth of internal elevation adjustment. There is little to no reason not to run a 30 or even a 40 MOA rail with the majority of 34 millimeter first focal plane reticle rifle scopes. So at the very least, having an option to get a 30 or a 40 MOA scope rail from Pristine would be a start. The actions are made in Canada and are imported into the United States and retail for $1,299. The pristine actions are certainly a welcome addition to the custom actions market. They started with the right formula, added some unique ingredients, and gave gun owners a beautiful action that certainly stands up to the expectations. While it certainly has a quirk, I'm fairly certain they can be addressed and may not even be an issue for the majority of gun owners. But on the flip side, the unique features and flexibility certainly make up for the nuisance. Between the price of the action and by the time you add in a barrel, a stock, and a trigger, you will have a complete custom bolt gun for around $22 to $2,500 or $3,000 if you go the chassis gun games version. And for that money, you will have a kick-ass gun built to your specifications at a fraction of the fully custom route. So I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the action before we put this into a rifle build. And if you found this helpful or educational, go ahead and click the like button and share it with your friends. And if you wanna support the channel, click the join button to become a channel member and get exclusive access to member only content, giveaways and discounts to a number of vendors featured in our videos. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching, keep on squatting, and I'll see you in the next video linked up here.